Sulfide Nickel Deposits Definition Sulfide nickel deposits are geological formations that contain significant concentrations of nickel sulfide minerals, often occurring within specific rock types and geological settings. These deposits represent one of the major sources of nickel worldwide, along with laterite nickel deposits. However, sulfide nickel deposits typically differ from laterite deposits in terms of their geological origin, mineralogy, and extraction methods. Geologically, sulfide nickel deposits are commonly associated with igneous intrusions, particularly mafic and ultramafic rocks such as peridotite, norite, and gabbro. These intrusions often occur in large, layered complexes known as igneous provinces or ore-bearing layered intrusions. The formation of sulfide nickel deposits is typically linked to magmatic processes, where the segregation and concentration of sulfide minerals enriched in nickel occur during the crystallization of magma deep within the Earth's crust. The main nickel-bearing minerals in sulfide nickel deposits include pentlandite, pyrotite, and chalcopyrite, among others. These minerals often occur in disseminated or massive sulfide zones within the host rocks. The concentration of nickel in these deposits can vary widely, ranging from a few percent to several tens of percent, depending on factors such as the initial composition of the magma, the degree of fractional crystallization, and post-magmatic alteration processes. Exploration for sulfide nickel deposits typically involves a combination of geological mapping, geophysical surveys, such as electromagnetic and magnetic surveys, geochemical analysis, and drilling. Once a deposit is discovered and delineated, the extraction of nickel from sulfide ores generally involves mining followed by mineral processing techniques such as crushing, grinding, and flotation to separate the valuable nickel-bearing sulfide minerals from the gang, waste, minerals. The refining of nickel from sulfide ores usually involves further processing steps, such as smelting and or hydrometallurgical techniques, to produce nickel metal or intermediate products such as nickel mat or nickel oxide. These processes may also recover other valuable metals such as copper, cobalt, and precious metals that are often present in sulfide nickel deposits as byproducts. Sulfide nickel deposits are economically significant resources, with major deposits located in various parts of the world, including Canada, Russia, Australia, and South Africa. However, the development of sulfide nickel projects can be technically challenging and capital-intensive due to factors such as the depth of mineralization, metallurgical complexities, environmental considerations, and market dynamics. Nonetheless, sulfide nickel deposits continue to play a crucial role in meeting global demand for nickel, particularly in industries such as stainless steel production, batteries for electric vehicles, and other high-tech applications. Formation of Sulfide Nickel Deposits The formation of sulfide nickel deposits is a complex geological process that involves multiple stages and factors, including magmatic processes, hydrothermal activity, and subsequent metamorphism. These deposits typically originate in settings where specific geological conditions promote the concentration of nickel and other metals into economically viable ore bodies. Here's a more detailed exploration of the formation of sulfide nickel deposits. Magmatic processes, sulfide nickel deposits are commonly associated with mafic and ultramafic magmas, which originate from the mantle and rise towards the Earth's crust. These magmas are rich in iron and magnesium and contain various sulfur-bearing minerals. As the magma ascends, it undergoes fractional crystallization, a process where minerals crystallize and settle out of the magma at different temperatures, leading to the formation of layered intrusions. Sulfur saturation, during the cooling and crystallization of the magma, sulfur-rich fluids exsolved from the magma phase and migrate through the surrounding rocks. These fluids are often derived from the breakdown of sulfur-bearing minerals within the magma. As the magma cools and approaches sulfur saturation, sulfide minerals such as pyrotite, pentlandite, and chalcopyrite start to crystallize and accumulate in certain zones within the magma chamber. Fractional crystallization, as the magma continues to cool, the sulfide minerals segregate and accumulate in specific layers or zones within the intrusions due to their density differences with the surrounding silicate minerals. 
This process of fractional crystallization concentrates nickel, copper, and other metals in sulfide-rich zones, forming potential or bodies. Hydrothermal processes, in some cases, the formation of sulfide nickel deposits may involve hydrothermal fluids that circulate through fractures and faults in the surrounding rocks. These hydrothermal fluids can alter the composition of the host rocks and contribute additional metals to the sulfide mineralization. Hydrothermal activity can also remobilize and redeposit metals, enhancing the grade and size of the ore body. Metamorphism and or modification over geological time scales, tectonic movements and regional metamorphism can further modify sulfide nickel deposits. Pressure and temperature changes may lead to recrystallization and mineralogical transformations within the ore body, affecting its texture, mineral composition, and overall economic viability. Secondary enrichment, weathering and secondary processes can also play a role in the formation and modification of sulfide nickel deposits. Oxidation and leaching of sulfide minerals near the Earth's surface can lead to the concentration of nickel in secondary minerals such as garnierite or nickeliferous laterites. The formation of sulfide nickel deposits is influenced by a combination of factors, including the composition of the parent magma, the depth and duration of magma emplacement, the availability of sulfur and other metals, and the subsequent geological processes that act to concentrate and modify the ore body. Understanding these processes is crucial for the exploration and development of sulfide nickel deposits, which remain important sources of nickel and other valuable metals in the global mining industry. Characteristics of Sulfide Nickel Deposits Sulfide nickel deposits exhibit several distinctive characteristics that distinguish them from other types of nickel deposits, such as laterites, and contribute to their economic significance. Understanding these characteristics is essential for exploration, mining, and processing operations. Here's a more detailed look at the key characteristics of sulfide nickel deposits. Mineralogy Sulfide nickel deposits are primarily composed of nickel bearing minerals, with pentlandite, pyrotite, and chalcopyrite being the most common. These minerals typically occur as disseminated grains or massive sulfide zones within host rocks, often forming distinct ore bodies or lenses. Host rocks, sulfide nickel deposits are commonly associated with mafic and ultramafic igneous rocks, such as peridotite, norite, and gabbro. These rocks provide the primary source of nickel, as well as other metals like copper, cobalt, and platinum group elements. The mineralization often occurs within layered intrusions or ore-bearing complexes, where magma chambers have differentiated to concentrate sulfide minerals. Geological setting, sulfide nickel deposits form in specific geological settings conducive to magmatic processes and sulfur saturation. These settings often include large igneous provinces or tectonic settings associated with mantle plumes, where mafic and ultramafic magmas intrude into the Earth's crust and undergo fractional crystallization to form layered intrusions. Ore grade and tonnage, sulfide nickel deposits can vary widely in terms of ore grade, ranging from a few percent to several tens of percent nickel content. The tonnage of ore bodies also varies, with some deposits being relatively small and localized, while others are large, continuous or bodies that extend over significant distances within the host rocks. Mining and processing challenges The extraction of nickel from sulfide ores presents technical challenges due to the depth and complexity of the mineralization, as well as metallurgical considerations. Mining methods for sulfide nickel deposits may include underground mining, open pit mining, or a combination of both, depending on factors such as ore depth, geometry, and economic feasibility. Processing sulfide ores typically involves crushing, grinding, and flotation to separate the nickel-bearing sulfide minerals from the gang minerals. Metallurgical complexity Sulfide nickel ores often require complex metallurgical processes for nickel extraction and refining. Smelting techniques are commonly used to produce nickel mat, an intermediate product containing high concentrations of nickel and other base metals. Subsequent refining processes, such as matte refining, hydrometallurgy, or electrorefining, are then employed to produce high-purity nickel metal suitable for various industrial applications. 
Byproduct metals, sulfide nickel deposits often contain significant concentrations of other valuable metals, such as copper, cobalt, and platinum group elements, which can be recovered as byproducts during the nickel extraction process. These byproducts contribute to the economic viability of sulfide nickel mining operations and diversify the revenue streams of mining companies. Environmental considerations Sulfide nickel mining and processing can have environmental impacts, particularly related to acid mine drainage and the release of potentially harmful metals and metalloids into the surrounding environment. Proper environmental management practices, including waste management, water treatment, and rehabilitation of disturbed areas, are essential to minimize these impacts and ensure sustainable mining operations. Overall, sulfide nickel deposits represent important sources of nickel and associated metals, playing a significant role in meeting global demand for these commodities. However, their development and exploitation require careful consideration of geological, technical, environmental, and economic factors to ensure responsible and sustainable resource utilization.